he is. Well, how's it going everyone? Bo here from BZAP. We're back in the Hunter Call of the Wild Mississippi Acres, as you can tell by our map. We've been doing some venturing during our live streams every Monday, 7.30 to 9.30 p.m. Central, playing the Hunter Call of the Wild. Um, and this, uh, we've been recently in Mississippi Acres, as you probably saw by our last video. Where the heck is he? Where the heck is he? Gotta keep our eyes on him. These wily, wily buggers. You never know when they're just gonna take off. Go swimming. Whoa, whoa. Another one. Another one. It's a female, though. We're good. We're good. So, if you're looking forward to the next missions in Mississippi Acres, or hopefully seeing some alligator hunting, make sure you hit that like button, pack your hunting satchels. Hunting satchels? I don't know. And let's get into it, everyone. It's got awfully foggy all of a sudden and this guy's on the move. We're gonna we're gonna mess this up I just know it. Oh, there's a level seven there. Okay. Okay, you guys. I See what you're doing Playing hard to get I get it. I was like you back in the day. Hey, maybe I don't know. Oh He just like did a warning call or something a mating call and he stuck his head up out of the water Oh, it would have been such a perfect time to shoot him in the noggin, man. What a loser. He just came up on land and then just laid there. It's gonna be impossible to shoot him. We're just gonna have to give it our best shot here, Bjorn 2. Aiming up towards the lungs. Hopefully that second shot got in there. Good. Oh, I don't know about it. I don't know about that. We're gonna have to get lucky here, Bjorn 2. The gators are like magicians when it comes to deflecting bullets in different directions. I feel like if you just mess up just a little bit and you end up hitting an arm, it just it just messes that up all entirely. You could just barely hit the tip of the arm and all of a sudden the penetration just goes down the toilet. But look at this. Well, <laughs> little swamp UPS here delivering our gator. Good deal. Good deal. Bjorn 2, where'd you go? Oh my gosh, don't freak me out like that, buddy. God, there's gators around here. You can get eaten. All right, all right, all right. Got our gator. Yep, first bullet did absolutely nothing. We tried to get it in there, man. I was shooting over the leg, trying to get it into the lung there. As you can see, went into nothing. And then this one, we actually did get that shot. It did go through the arm. <gasps> Thankfully, golly, man. I thought when I squeezed off that shot, I thought, oh, I'm gonna nail that arm and it's just gonna mess up everything. But nope, level seven gator, dark brown. I'll take it, man. We're still yet to get a good sized gator. I've even been up north to the gator lakes. Still haven't seen anything level nine. Uh, I think the biggest we've seen so far is level eight. And uh, I didn't even get him. <laughs> but we need to continue making our way down south to the old camp here. Hearing weird noises. Oh, really? Probably freaking gators. They're just kids. First time away from home for most of them. Of course, it was just a case of too much sugar, right? Well, not gonna lie. That's what I told myself until parents started pulling their kids out. Health and safety concerns, wild animals. We take every measure to protect our kids. Well, you kind of set up with a bunch of gators everywhere. We had the worst flooding in 40 years last week. Camp Haven is almost a year old and barely hanging on. But I think there's something else going on here, and I want to get to the bottom of it. Just... just let's be discreet. Betty didn't want the camp opening here at all, and I don't want to give her any more reason to doubt me. It's not much, but it means everything to me to be able to do this for these kids. It's not just hunting, either. It's about trust building, leadership, community. You get it. I know you do. Yeah, I don't trust this Betty Lou or whatever her name is. I wouldn't. I wouldn't give her a cent. I don't trust her whatsoever. But I do think I do think she's up to something in here. Well, we found a little shack. Let's check it out. Maybe there's clues to be found. Who knows? Oh, I don't think we're gonna be able to get in here. Darn it all. 
There's clues to be found in here. I'm sure of it. Got another chance here. Ah! Oh, I tried aiming just a tad higher that time. I don't think we got him. <laughs> you know what I want to know is if anyone's ever shot them like that, huh? Comment down below. I'd love to hear it. I want to know if it's if it's possible or if it's not possible. If you've done it, you know, then you know, claim it down below. I guess doesn't mean I'll believe you, but I just want to know if it's possible. All righty, making our way to the camp here. I'm sure she's gonna start talking any moment now. Any moment now. Any moment now. Okay, she is missing her cue to talk. I don't know what her deal is. We're gonna check this place out, I guess. Oh, what do we got here? Gator tracks. Big gator tracks too. 917 to 1168. Jeez Louise, man. We got lucky here. That and a few deck chairs blown off course are the worst damage we suffered. Okay. There should be some extra rope inside. Can you get it swinging again? Oh, I suppose. You know me, Mr. Maintenance Man over here. All right. I had some lying around here somewhere. Yeah. What about a tire, though? Do you have any tires around here? Because we need one of those. Oh, it's on the ground. Okay, I see it now. A tire swing and a lazy delta summer. Right, Whoa. you take a look around. I know some of the kids who reported the weird noise. It swings. Oh, ow. Oh, what do we got here, huh? Drugs. Oh, candy wrappers. Well, I wasn't wrong about them being on too much sugar. Yeah, right. These are sugar packets. These, they've got to be sugar packets. It's old people. The old people have been drinking coffee out here. I know it. God dang, how many packets do they use? It's early summer and the ground is soaked. Ground you is soaked. Your safety classes, right? Yeah, totally. The first damn thing you're told. No building fires near anything flammable. Grass included. That's why they burned it back, so that there was no grass. Idea of a prank. I'm going to have to give them a talking to. Yeah, good prank. Burning grass. That's a good one. Here since our last session, the flooding sure hasn't helped. Whoa, what we got here? We got a message. I can't sleep. An old lady out by the campsite gave me some candy. I knew it. It's that freaking lady. She told me there's witches here. She said they, f they footsteps scratch, scorch the grass, and they make horrible screams like they're on fire. Wrong there. God, these kids are horrible. Brian told ghost stories. Ty started crying, said she heard noises. What about the others? There, another there that's incorrect. Jeez, come on, kid. All over the place. I'm sacred. Scared. Oh. There's a fire. They drew a fire. That's nice. What's that? That's a kid's handwriting. Witches. Scorched grass. A woman living in the woods. We really do have to limit their sugar intake. Yeah, we do. Freaking there kids are crazy. Are of scorched grass here. And that's where the missions end. Where are we supposed to find something else? I'm not sure. Investigate the note. Whoa, look at this. Oh, this is a map of Mississippi Acres. Must be the other spots where kids had heard noises. Oh, how about that? These parts, but this is. Hello, ma'am. What can we do for you? Excuse the interruption, Miss Davis, but I've had some residents of Jonesville call me up reporting a gator sighting. You've got to be joking. There's gators here? It ain't a good idea to go back if a big old mean one's made his nest there. I suspect he washed up with the high water. You got your counselor on the line there? Could you go and take a look, sugar? You betcha. The details. Yeah, we're on it. We'll let y'all know how it goes. If it's a nuisance gator, we can decide what to do with it there and then. I appreciate it. You betcha. Alrighty, we're moving on up. Around here know how to handle an alligator, but we don't take chances where kids are concerned. Can you go take a look? You betcha. So head to where the alligator was last spotted, 1.34 miles away. Okay. Top notch. I am kind of curious about this gator's tracks, man. Going right through camp, and he is a monster. It's like that uh, Placid Lake or whatever that movie was a long time ago. <laughs> a long time ago. It was it was a while ago, okay? 
Yeah, I don't see any gators, but they're certainly bigging out here somewhere. We'll have to uh, have to remember that and go during a different need zone time, I guess. All right, so it seems like the quickest way to get to this uh, location way over here is by uh, traveling west. So we'll uh, we'll go do that, and we might go grab this lookout tower just to be able to see things over here, because that seems to be the only one that's close by. So I guess that's what we'll go do. And of course, we might do some hunting along the way, you know, it all call the wild. Thought we had a ginormo hog out here, but it's just a just a tank, big old big old. Big ol' septic tank out here. I'm not sure what kind of tank it is. Water tank? Could be a water tank, maybe. I don't, I don't know. Gasoline? Maybe they got a gasoline tank out here for the tractors or something. Ooh, that is a good-sized raccoon track right there. 23 to 28. I might go figure out what that guy is. Every 23 to 28 I've found so far has ended up being a level 4. But you never know. One of these times could be level 5. Found a big old rest zone for raccoons here. Five of them. Goodness gracious. Oh my god, droppings from just now ago. He's close by, everybody. Hopefully we can get this raccoon to come in with this squall call. I see one moving over there. Two level threes. Keep getting warning calls from up there, but we can't see anything up there, and they're not responding to the calls anymore, so we might just have to stalk our way up there. No freaking way. We found him. He's a level five. <gasps> no! Oh my god! I pulled out the wrong gun! No! Oh, that's so sad. Once I heard the shot, I just thought to myself, <laughs> oh, that's so sad, dude. <laughs> <laughs> we finally find a level 5 raccoon and we shoot him with the wrong gun. No, <laughs> it's like Star Wars. Oh, it's horrible. It's horrible. Oh, and he would have been a diamond too. Gosh dang it, man. Oh, that's so horrible. We would have had a perfect shot with the Hornet as well. Uh, <laughs> I'm taxidermizing him. Taxidermizing him all the same. Oh, he's a he's a diamond raccoon in my book. Oh, that's so sad though. So sad. We chased him down for such a long time. Oh, Bjorn too. Come here, buddy. <laughs> so so sad. Why can't I pet you anymore? God, I just want to pet you. Oh, why don't you love me? <laughs> Whoa, lots of turkeys. Golly, there's probably like five turkeys there. Ah, what are the chances that all these alligator stuff's happening by one of these fancy lodges? Keep your wits about you. Okay, I'll keep them about me. It's all about me. Ooh, what do we got here? Oh, of course. Someone was on its trail. Someone was on its trail. Or they were the trail. This is an outpost. I might go grab that outpost real quick. Da -da -da -dee, da -da -da -da. One of the nicer outposts, it looks like, anyway. It's one of those uh, fancy two story outposts. I'm gonna grab a look inside real quick. Oh, yeah, look at that guy. Fancy. Nice kitchen. Cool. All right. Okie dokie. These look like Gators gator prints. The guns at the best of times. I don't get why it. Oh, they were serious about this. Yeah, they were. Getting a turkey. Catch pull. What's a catch pull? Oh. It takes a lot to rip that snare. This thing must have been pissed. I'd say. Go figure out where it went. Get on the old gator with the old snatch ball. Gotta get that gator. Ooh, another clue. And we're dealing with some total amateurs. Gator guys, this ain't. Gator guys, this ain't. I don't even know what these are. Can't tell. Shoelaces? They tried to use shoelaces. Amateurs. Bunch of deer. Don't see any shooters, per se. Oh, we found a bunch. Golly, it's going a long way. See the river now. We're getting closer. So it got out, wandered over to Jonesville, or someone followed it, and then it went right back the way it came. 
with its would-be captors in hot pursuit. But Betty called us here first, right? How'd these folks get here before us? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hey, Mrs. Tackett. My counselor's here at Jonesville. Happy to report that our reptilian friend has made its way back to the bayou, but not without a fight. Did you call someone else in here first? Well, I know Miss Davis can't say I did. What happened? Well, there's a broken catch pole and some tape. Someone clearly had some fun. Wouldn't surprise me if some yokel had got it into himself to make it into tomorrow's papers. You know Delta folk. Bless their hearts. Yes, ma'am. Anyway, you can call up the residence group, let them know it's safe to come back. Thanks for the hard work, y'all. Bye bye Okay, so here's what I'm thinking. Someone's pissing off alligators that are probably already pretty out of it after the flooding. And I want to make sure you know how to handle them, just in case. Just in case. Call me paranoid, but it wouldn't surprise me if there's a connection between all of this weirdness. They don't say half hills, half delta, all crazy for nothing. And that's not just me being an uppity Yankee. You heard, Betty. Folks here are quite something. Let's get some gator hunting practice in, then we'll take stock of things. Mmm, kidoki, I'm not against that. Been doing a little bit of gator hunting myself, so, you know. That's just, uh, just the way things are around here in the delta. Alrighty, so we're looking for an alligator need zone. Don't necessarily need the alligator just yet. Just need a need zone. So, hopefully there's one around here in this old flooded town. Oh, this is one we found a while back. See the depression on the ground? Looks like they've been basking around here. Try sneaking up on them when they're idle. Right, we didn't sneaking up the much when they're self idle. Defense when I spent my summers here. My daddy taught me not to aim between the eyes. That'll just have it pitching a fit. Pitching a Try fit. Try to land a shot between the eye and the ear instead. That destroys the brain, kills it uh -huh. quickly. Okay, all right, all right. Between the eye and the ear, those big old alligator ears. Well, seeing as though it says they're resting between 12:30 and 8, I, or 18, I guess that's 6 o'clock p.m. I think we should probably go ahead and uh, do that. That way we can uh, see them a little bit better. Oh, it's raining out. No, I hate rain. Whoa, oh, I see a gator. I see a gator. Oh, it is about to die though, so that's all right. We did some right anyway. But the mission does say we have to pass the harvest check, so. <laughs> it'll be it'll be interesting to see how many times we ended up shooting this thing. I kept shooting, but it didn't look like it was getting hit. It just kept standing there, so I just kept going. But it is coming on over our way. All right, let's see. Okay, it's maybe time I stop calling you rookie now. Rookie now. <laughs> here in Mississippi in the late '60s. So wildlife officials packed horse trailers with 3,500 juveniles from Louisiana. They drove them to the Mississippi State Fair and handed them out in bags. Handed them out in the Mississippi State Imagine Fair. Going to the fair to ride the carousel and shoot tin cans and taking home a baby gator. Sure makes for more of a prize than a goldfish in a bag. I guess. <laughs> efforts, the state population's approaching 40,000 these days. There's some commercial farming, but mostly they're just hunted for sport. Feeling more confident? Good. Let's take another look at that map. Okie dokie. Can you take out the map again? I'm 90% certain the one in the middle is one of our campsites. Try taking a look around. Okay. Oh, and let's make sure Betty doesn't get word of this, at least for now. I'm not sure how she'd react to a literal witch hunt. Yeah, probably not well. She is a witch herself, so, you know. <laughs> I know how I would react if I was being hunted. It's this little pond here and this little thing right here. Fantastic for, uh, for gators. The good thing about this location over here is that they can't submerge in this water for quite a while, honestly. And so if you can catch them trying to run out through the water to the deeper water, uh, they are just like open season, man. They, uh, they cannot submerge themselves running through this water, so... I've never come from this angle before, but we'll see if we can catch them. 
trying to swim out into the river. Oh, that's a big gator. Oh, there he is. Hopefully, one of those is good. There we go. We got him. We got him. He's dying. 50 to 75 there. Hopefully, that one was a long shot. I'm hoping. It'll be floating up anytime soon. There he is. UPS Delta coming our way. We got him. 445. He was close. 45 away. Olive colored. Olive colored. I don't think 445 is going to get that 95%, but we're going to do the math just in case. 90%. Dang. Still 5% away from a... Uh, 95%. So, uh, top notch, we'll just accept him for now. Good old gator. Good old mythical gator there, Bjorn, too. Taking the boat. All right, here we are, 200 yards away from our location. <laughs> Look at this thing. I'd say someone was fishing, except that is a heck of a log to put out here to go fishing. <laughs> I think I would have chose something smaller. What in the. What is that noise? Is this what the kids were hearing? See if you can find what's causing it. Okay, I did hear it that time. Oh! A sound recorder! Tape player? How'd they get that up there? I don't know, but we can get rid of it. I can't hear myself think and I'm not even there. Oh, we're gonna have to shoot it again. Finally. Okay, let's focus here. That tape sounded damaged, but I get what they were going for. Not hard to imagine a bright-eyed sixth grader hearing it and thinking witches. Witches! We're right by the river. This was actually one of the worst hit areas. Floodwater crested at over 20 feet. So the tape player must have gotten a real submerging in spite of the best efforts of the person who placed it. There's no way they could have climbed up that high without access to tools. Let's see if we can find anything. Locked, as it should be. Okay. We usually hide the keys in plain sight inside hollow rocks. Not like we usually have to worry about burglars in rural Mississippi anyway. I don't remember where we put this one, but it's probably close by. Oh. That's it. Grab the I key. like this. This is fun. I like being able to rotate things. Babu, I gotcha. The ladder, we gotcha. Gotcha, fellas. Just as I expected. A ladder. To find the key. Evil ladders. A ladder in here. That means we're dealing with either Camp Haven staff or someone from the big game club, since we tend to use the same facilities. Hmm, I wonder. Didn't Betty say she broke her neck recently? Hmm. And that's why this tape recorder has I blood on it. But our evidence is still circumstantial at best. Let's do some more digging. Ooh, I was gonna end it there, but we are pretty darn close to this other location, so let's go grab it real quick. Okay, we made it to the camp. Hear the sound again. It's right here. Well, that's easier. I suppose so. Does it say anything on the tape? Mm. AGM minutes, Jan 2020. Try playing the B-side. We fear a continued decline in membership and monetary Knew it. take should the club fail to secure adequate white tail hunting grounds. Yep. Come on, boys, while we're young. Next item on the agenda, Wright Bingham's proposal, reestablishment of Camp Haven Summer Camp. This ought to be good. What you got for us, Mr. Bingham? So, the tape was the big game clubs, and they were planning something to do with Camp Haven. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I wish I could say I was surprised, but I still don't get... They terrorize kids just to get back at me? And what about all the other stuff? The heaters and the gator chasing? Oh, speak of the devil. Better pick up. Hey, sugar, can I trouble you for another favor? There's been a power outage over by my brother's office. He's working on our accounts and all the papers are there so we can't wait. Can you head over there and see what's transpired? Thanks again. Bye-bye. Bingo. This could be she, she didn't even wait for her to respond at all. 
Oh, she was calling me? Uh, I guess I never talk anyway, anyway. All right, everyone. Well, I'll tell you what, I don't trust this Betty. <laughs> a single bit. <laughs> this is how we started out the entire thing, too. This is great. Well, this has been a fun episode, everyone. We found a level 5 diamond raccoon. Unfortunately, shot it with the wrong gun. That's just how life goes sometimes. We found a bunch of gators out here in the Mississippi Acres. It's been f pretty fun. Uh, Bjorn, too, has been having a great time. Having you, buddy? Yeah, absolutely. But we got certainly much more to do around here, everyone, and I'm certainly looking forward to it. So, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe for more videos in the future everyone like i said in the beginning if you want to check us out in our hunter live stream every monday 7 30 to 9 30 p.m central make sure you do so because we have a great time and if you want to join us at fishing planet join us on wednesdays at the same exact time here on youtube but until the next episode everyone take care and as always remember everyone we're one planet one family game on <laughs>